Okay. Hi, everybody. Glad to see you. Glad you could come. Well, let's get right into this, okay? Um, today is going to be from chapter 10 till wherever. Um, it depends on how my voice holds out. Excuse me. And the cameras. Oh, not the camera, but the mics. Oh, my goodness. You would not believe what I've been through. This is the fourth different set. Uh, the fourth microphone that I've tried to do this on. And I hope this works or else I'm going to have to do it on my phone because it's amazing and quite a coincidence. It works for everything else. But when I try to do something Bible, <laughs> it's obvious who it is. <laughs> okay, anyway, I hope you can hear me. I've been trying everything under the sun, so... I hope it works. I'll try to listen back again and uh, try to adjust the volume if it needs it. Um, I don't know. And I, like I said before, excuse any interruptions. I got my phone right here where I can see it. <clears throat> if anyone message me, messages me. Of course, this ain't live, but, you know, family or something. Anyway, start of chapter 10. He called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the... I can't see that as good. I'll take these off. These are my blue light glasses. So I'm not looking at the screen all the time. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called P Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus. And Thaddeus, Simon, Simon the Zealot and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter the any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not take along any gold or silver or copper in your belts. Take no bag for your journey or extra tunic or sandals or staff. For the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, village you enter, search for some worthy person there and stay at his house until you le until you leave you. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet when you leave, when you leave that home or town. I tell you the truth, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than f for that town. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard against men. They will hand you over to, to the local councils and flog you in their synagogues on, on my account. 
you will be brought before governors and kings and w as witnesses to them. <sighs> so I got my Bible on. I shoved my keyboard up. I got it laying down here so I could see it a little better. But actually, the light's not hitting it very good. <sighs> But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. <laughs> At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. All men will hate you because of me. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. I tell you the truth, you will not finish going through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Sorry, hurts him. A student is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the student to be like his teacher and the servant like the master. If the head of the house had been called Beelzebub, how much more members of his household? How much more the members of his household? So do not be afraid of them. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who will kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than money than many sparrows. Whoever acknowledges me before men I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Wow. That's happening. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me. And he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And anyone who receives a righteous man because he is righteous, a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of water to one of these little ones, because he is my disciple, I tell you the truth, he will certainly not lose his reward. After Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee. When John heard, heard in prison what Christ was doing, 
he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, <laughs> and the good news is preached to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak uh, to the crowd about John. What did you go? Are reeds swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No. Those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who would prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth. Among those born of women, there's has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist. Yet he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing, and forceful men lay, uh, lay hold of it. For all the prophets and the law prophesied, until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah, Elijah, who who was to come. He who has ears, let him hear. To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting sitting in a marketplace and calling out to others. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came, John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. Then Jesus began to denounce the cities in which most of the miracles had been performed. Because they did not repent, woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida, if the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre or Sidon, they would they would have been oops have repented repented a long long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, I will it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will be lifted up to the skies, though you will go down to the depths. Oh, wait. And Capernaum, will you be lifted up to the skies? No, you will go down to the depths. If the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Sodom, it would have, it would have remained to this day. But I tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on that day of judgment than for you. Mm -hmm. 
At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some of the heads of the grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples aren't doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read that David, what David did when he and his um, companions were hungry? He, he entered the house of God, and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread which was not lawful to the, for them to do, but only for the priest. Or haven't, haven't you read, uh, read in the law that on the Sabbath the priest in the temple desecrate the day yet and yet are innocent? I tell you that one greater than the temple is here. If you if you had known what these words mean, I would desire mercy and sa not sacrifice, and you would would not have condemned the innocent, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Going on from that place, he went in, into their synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there looking for a reason, looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, they had asked him, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? He said to them, If any of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will you not take hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a man than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out and was completely restored, just as sound as the other. But the Pharisees went out and plotted how they might kill Jesus. Aware of this, Jesus withdrew from the place. Many followed him, and he healed their sick, warning them not to tell who he was. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant who I have chosen, the one I love and whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will, will not quarrel or cry out. No one will hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out, till he le leads justice to victory. In his name the nations will put their hope. <sighs> Then he brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could, he could both talk and see. And the people were astonished and said, 
Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is, oh, it is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, <laughs> he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? That's so amazing. And if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your people drive them out? So then, <laughs> they will be your judges. But if I drove out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry off his possessions unless first he first ties up the strong man, then he can rob his house, his house, yeah. He who is not with me is against me, and he who stands, who does not, and he who does not gather with me scatters. And so I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit, will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Make a tree good, and its fruit will be good, or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For out of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and the evil man brings out evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I tell you that men will have, have to give account on that day of judgment for every careless word they have ever spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see the miraculous sign from you, see a miraculous sign from you. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for miraculous signs, but none will be given. It except the sign of the prophet Jonah, for he, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh. will stand up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it. They repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now one greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom and now one greater than Solomon is here. When an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places and seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it Seven other spirits more wicked than its wicked than itself, and they go in and live there, 
and the final condition of that man is worse than the first. That is how it will be with this wicked generation. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers stood outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, your mother and brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother? For And who is who are my brothers? Pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. And we'll stop there. It, we'll start up again at chapter 13. And remember, like I always say, Whatever you do in life, make a difference. This is Grampy Campy, and remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed day.